video. Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34 here playing some Battlefield 4, and hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay because overall, I went 26 kills and 4 deaths. Incredible match, incredible gameplay, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it because it's just. I don't know, I just make some things impossible seem very possible because overall there was like some certain angles that I just took around, like just did a 360 or something, I just took them out. It was just incredible guys. I mean hip fire in this game also is it's pretty good and uh that's what this gun has. And there's something else that this gun reminds me of. And by the way, this gun that I'm currently using right now is called the SG. It's located in the carbine division. And it pretty much reminded me of the ARX from Call of Duty Ghost. And I just try to get some similarities going on here with the ARX and this gun, the SG. And all I needed was the red laser sight and the red dot sight that, I, that every single you know assault rifle has most of the time. And uh, apparently this gun can actually work pretty well. And um, some new attachment that I currently added right now that I ended up going like around you know four or five games in a row of winning uh, was the silencer. The silencer was the big difference maker. I mean, before this game, I actually lost like maybe like for 10 like by 10 kills and I went like around 20 and, and 13 and when I added the silencer I actually did better so I kind of figured out a new thing with this um, AG or whatever this weapon is called and uh, you know this upcoming week guys I'll be doing best class setups of this gun because this gun's already prepared to go up for you guys so you guys can you know be ready for some Battlefield 4 and uh, you know known out there because I know most of you guys you know are making the transition over to Battlefield 4 slowly but I know most of you guys will get there. And, um, you know, there was just some certain points that really surprised me because the hit fire in this game is just incredible. And also the attachment of the red dot sight uh, from the laser sight, though. Not not from the regular red dot sight sight. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of things just happened in this match. You guys should just keep your eyes on the gameplay. It's just incredible. Uh, another thing that I want to add to this, uh, I want to insult a little bit to, uh, you know, Call of Duty right now because uh, so far, you know, Call of Duty Ghost hasn't been great. And, uh, you know, the reason why is because there's tons of bullshit. The kill streaks are just too lame and all the weapons are kind of weird. And compared to this game, you know, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 4, I think, you know, you don't need to get rewarded with kill streaks at all. I mean, it's just good to just play uh, straight up like this, like how I'm doing right now, just straight up gunfights. And I think you guys should go over to Battlefield 4, like transfer right now guys, you guys should be able to see some big difference. And also, another thing, Battlefield 4 is not the same thing as Battlefield 3 at all, the weapon performance is quite well, it's quite better than last year's. So um, if you're thinking right now like, should I get Battlefield 4, I recommend it, I, I will say yes, get it right now, uh, the overall grade of this game. I, I'm giving it an 8.9 out of 10. It could have been better because the graphics are kind of shady here and, uh, you know, they're not that good. There's mostly pop ins. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just can't play. I just can't wait to play on the next gen because I'm not playing in the next gen right now. This is currently PS3. Once I play on the PS4, yes, the graphics are going to get better. But I have seen some gameplays out there with the next gen, uh, you know, gameplays on the, on the uh, Battlefield 4 game. They're quite the same thing almost. But uh, overall, for sure, it's gonna be the same weapon performance and uh, same kind of action that you see right now on your screen. So, uh, anyways, um, so yeah, if you're currently playing Call of Duty Ghost, switch over to Battlefield 4. It's a lot more fun. Everybody's doing something. Nobody's camping. Everybody's moving around. Everybody has an assignment. So, uh, anyways, so yeah, that's my insult towards Call of Duty franchise. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it just proves my point. I mean, come on, it just took me like around five days to get better at this game, and look at me right now. I'm freaking owning in squads. Squads deathmatch is pretty fun. You're gonna end up, you know, four of your teammates or like at least six of your teammates are gonna be facing, um, you know, uh, three other squads, and it's pretty fun. It is pretty fun. You just need to be aware of every single angle there's out there because, you know, you're facing uh, other people and you're facing like around 12 opponents. So 6 versus 12 most of the time. So anyways, um, this weapon, you know, it's just incredible. The way I unlocked it and the way I started off with, it's been incredible. It's a lot better than the previous game's uh, weapons. And uh, I just can't believe I haven't, you know... I just can't believe I haven't gave this game the you know the chance right off the first day. I should have given it 
So anyways, um, yeah, next week I'm announcing that I will be doing best class setups for the current guns that I'm using right now. This is one of them. Uh, there's another one for long range in the same carbine rifle division. And uh, that's going to be coming up like around Friday or something because I still need more testing with the gun. And uh, yes, it, it, is, it does reach from long range and uh, it doesn't rattle a lot you know the recoil is kind of low on that gun and i'll teach you guys which which gun it is and i'll teach you guys how to set it up so anyways um the question that i want to ask you guys what gun are you currently using right now because i want to tell you guys right now that there's certain guns out there some carbine rifles that are actually good for short range and that are excellent for squad death matches team death matches domination you know stuff like that and i know which which weapons are good for that so uh so yeah, I mean, just let me know in the comment section. I would like to know, and I'll let you guys know if I have if I have a class setup for that weapon. Because uh, so far right now, I only have like around six six class setups out of the many guns there is in this game. So uh, and this is one of them. So um, so yeah, I mean, it is gonna be a uh, great uh, fun thing to do for you guys. You know, help you guys out in Battlefield 4. So anyways, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay so far because it is kind of insane how I'm just taking out people back to back and stuff. And uh, I couldn't believe it myself either because I was like, you know, I need to reload, turn around, you know, take out this guy. There's another guy in my, in my map. All right, I got to turn around to that direction, take him out. God damn, you know, the way I have this class set up right now is just very helpful for your teammates and to yourself because you're going to be aware uh, from, uh, from all your surroundings. So, uh, so, yeah, I mean, it is an incredible class setup for you guys. If you guys want to survive out there, get shit loads of kills. You know, you got to you want to be a warrior out there like, like a Rambo or something, you know. Follow my class setups. It will be posted next week, like I said. So, um, anyways, yeah, my teammates were also doing good. They were trying to conquer the roofs. I mean, you can also climb the roofs up there and uh, try to see who's up there. Because there's, there's, like, mostly people sniping in this map. I don't even know why they do that. But, uh, you know, I took care of the ground level and I did pretty well with it. And uh, I took control. And it was just incredible because it was, like, a lot of people coming back to back. And I just took them out in groups, man. So, um, anyways... Yeah, I mean, my squad did a hell of a job. I did a hell of a job sneaking around, and it's just insane, man. I just couldn't believe myself either. I mean, I just like I told you guys so many times in this video. So, um, so yeah, I mean, a lot. There's a lot of people popping up in my face, and I still took them out. And with the silencer, a lot of people keep warning themselves with the silencer because they think, oh, the silencer will lower my damage, with it, which it does, but uh, it also lowers your range, so the bullet drop's gonna be more uh, quicker than than usual. So. Uh, but don't worry, you know, most of the time when it comes down to squad death matches and team death matches and dominations, most of the time is the battles are going to be from medium to short range. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. And most of the time you can end up sneaking, so which is pretty good. Uh, so, um, so, yeah, I mean, just be very, uh, you know, accurate when it comes down to facing enemies 1v1 because you need to shoot them in the head. And, uh, yes, it's going to take a while, but uh, still, it's going to be a huge advantage because you're going to end up surviving. Um, so yeah guys the gameplay is about to end you know leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up tell me what you like about this gameplay and if you guys want further explanations about this gun you know I'll let you know I even put some information in the screen for you guys so you guys can know which weapon it is and uh, which attachments uh, you know you should guys add to this weapon and uh, what attachment did I switch over to so uh, maybe I'll just explain in a different video guys you know the best class setup for this weapon so um, so yeah guys this is all for now you know leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my other channels, you know, um, Midnight Blue and to my, the people that I'm supporting, Naughty88, Gar Gar Gamer Status, Miss Dead Wedge, um, Gracie KP, and Epic Ninja Girl. So anyways, uh, yep, we ended up winning the match. Incredible match. By the way, I, I did get a lot of unlocks and, um, you know, some of them were pretty good. So in total, I think I got like around 3,000 points. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay.